Hi you guys, if you want to learn how to make my easy and delicious smothered chicken and mashed potatoes, stay tuned. So the first thing we're going to do is cut up our potatoes. I've already peeled them. I'm going to go ahead and chop them up in bite-sized pieces. I like to keep my potatoes in cold water while I do this process so they won't oxidize and turn brown on me. Once all of our potatoes are chopped, we're going to go ahead and put them in a pot of cold water. We're going to start them off in cold water. Then we're going to turn our stove on so they can go ahead and cook. While our potatoes are doing their thing, we're going to go ahead and get our chicken started. And I have four chicken breasts here. I'm going to go ahead and season them up with some salt, pepper, garlic powder, onion powder. You guys know I love using those spices when I cook. I'm also going to use a little bit of smoked paprika and some thyme. We will be dipping our chicken breast in flour, so we're just going to put a little bit of flour in a dish and also season that flour with the same seasonings that we use on our chicken. Once our flour is seasoned, we're just going to take a whisk and make sure everything is well combined. So I'm taking out a fourth a cup of that seasoned flour and we're going to use that a little bit later when we make our gravy. The rest of the flour we're going to use to um, coat our chicken. a couple tablespoons of vegetable oil in my cast iron we're going to go ahead and start cooking our chicken They're looking absolutely delicious and golden brown. Once they're about three fourths of the way um, done, we're gonna go ahead and remove them so we can start building our gravy. In the same pan that we cooked our chicken, we're gonna go ahead and build our gravy. You don't wanna clean your, your pan out at that point because all of those chicken bits at the bottom are going to increase the flavor of your gravy. So we add in about four tablespoons of butter and we melted that down and put in a little bit of onion. I don't like a whole lot of onion in my gravy, so I just added a little bit. And we're gonna go ahead and saute that down until they're nice and tender. And then we added in about a tablespoon or so of garlic and we're gonna mix that around for about a few seconds, not too long and then after that we're going to add in that flour that we reserved earlier when we um, started our chicken and we're going to go ahead and cook that flour down for a couple minutes good rule of thumb to use when you're making gravy from scratch is to do equal parts fat and flour so i added four tablespoons of butter and that's why i added about a fourth a cup which is four tablespoons of flour so once we've cooked that flour down, we're gonna go ahead and start adding in our chicken stock. Now, as you guys can see during this process, I am whisking continuously. If I stop, I'm gonna create a lumpy gravy. If I just pour my stock in all at once, I'm gonna create a lumpy gravy. That's a critical key to making a good gravy is to keep whisking and to drizzle in your liquid of choice. And I believe I added in about two and a half to three cups of chicken stock. Mommy, I'm hungry. I need something yummy. Yummy, yummy, yummy. All right, so the same seasonings that we added to our chicken earlier and our flour, we're gonna go ahead and add just a little bit to that to our gravy. And of course, we're gonna taste and season to our liking. Mm -hmm. 
At this point, our gravy is tasting delicious and it's thickening up nicely. I just added in a little bit of heavy cream for some added richness. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add my chicken breast back in to simmer for about 20 to 25 minutes. My chicken breasts are pretty thin, so it doesn't need a whole lot of time. Remember, it's almost done anyway, so it's not gonna take a whole lot of time um, to complete its cooking. If you have thicker chicken breasts that you're using or if you're using chicken that has the bone in, obviously you're going to need more time for your chicken to cook in that gravy so around this time your potatoes should be done boiling you're going to go ahead and drain them and you're just going to add in some simple ingredients a splash of milk some butter salt and pepper you're going to take your potato masher and mash them up until they're the consistency that you want them to be all right, so now our chicken is done, but before I plate, I'm just gonna go ahead and baste the top and sprinkle with a little bit of parsley. I mean, come on y'all. This looks absolutely delicious and it tastes even better than it looks. You guys have to give this recipe a try because it is comfort food at its finest. And it took less time than it usually does because we use chicken without the bone. Um, but once you take a bite, it still gives you that hearty, comforting feeling. Um, you guys, this dish was delicious. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Once again, I appreciate you guys for clicking and watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give me a thumbs up. If you would love to see more videos from me in the future, make sure you are subscribed and share with a friend. Um, I love you guys and I will see y'all on the next one. Until then, bye.